Hello. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up onion skinning in Houdini. We're going to first take this bouncing ball asset that we have, and we're going to set some keyframes on it. Let's start with setting the keyframe here, and then we're going to move forward in time here. Set another keyframe. Go to frame 120, set a keyframe. And we're going to go to frame 60, pull it up, and set a keyframe there. Go to frame 180 and set another keyframe. And now we've got some motion on our ball. To see what this motion looks like with onion skinning, all we have to do is initially just turn on onion skinning here. And as you can see, we're getting onion skinning on that object as it animates. Let's zoom in a little closer. We can refine how this looks in the viewport, and we do that by opening the display options window. Hit the D key. You'll see that one of the options in the viewport tab is onion skinning with additional settings. We can set up color for the frames before. Let's change it to green. And for the after frames, we'll change it to red. Change the skin opacity to 0.2 so it's not as strong. And set the frame increment to 12. You can hit the D key to close the window. So as we animate forward, you can see onion skinning on our object here. This is where you see the semi-transparent objects floating. If we want to fix that in the channel editor, we can go to translate Y, and break those tangents. Actually, let's move the animation editor to over here, because then we can actually see those changes take place. The onion skinning updates as we make changes in the animation editor here. And now we can see that there's a bit of a sharper motion as the ball bounces. Onion skinning can also handle things like deformation. For example, we have some squash and stretch, so if we go into here, hold down Alt and left mouse button to key that, go to frame 123 and set a keyframe, set a keyframe at 240 as well. At frame 61, change the strength to 0 0.252 and set a keyframe. And then go to frame 181 and keyframe the strength value at 0 0.215. So now you can see the squash and stretch as we animate. At any point, we can bring up our display options window again. We can change how many frames we're looking at and also change the frame increment and view it from there. And that's onion skinning in Houdini.